Hi there, Anka Herman back again for another uh, quick video and today I want to talk about um, the question that seems to be on people's minds how long does it take to make a living from your sewing business or basically how long does it take to take it from idea to you know flourishing business and as usual the short answer is I have no idea like there is no, there is no uh, one way or no right or wrong time. It's just something that I've been observing from uh, the people I've been speaking to and the questions I'm getting is that um, sometimes people feel that it should take less time than it actually does. Because I think there is, while there is no one correct number or time frame or whatever, uh, there seems to be the case that it does take longer than most people think. Apparently, there are some studies that uh, indicate that uh, people tend to underestimate what they can do, what they can achieve in five years, but they tend to considerably overestimate what can be done in a year. So I get... Sometimes I get questions or sometimes I get, you know, people that are sort of feeling frustrated and unsure whether they're on the right path. And so I get things like, oh, I've got this website up now, but it's not working. And so I go, now, how long has it been around? They go, yeah, I know, I put it up a couple of weeks ago. You know who you are. And I'm like, what? You know, what? I mean, who says? Or what did you expect? And... Yeah, so I haven't had any orders from that yet. Well, you know, so who says that there, it, the sign or the indication of success is that there is an order after two weeks or four weeks? What's, what do you consider con success? Um, other times it's like, oh, I've been, you know, I don't know, like I'm doing everything and it's just not working. So what have you been doing and how long for? You know, I've started in August. I'm like, what? We're in September, you know. So just the fact that somebody may have seen something you're offering and they go, oh, I really love it, but then haven't placed an order, doesn't indicate that this is not working, right? Um, so there, is, there seems to be that expectation, and I'm not taking myself out of that. Like, I definitely <laughs> had that same thing going on when I first started, and I had the feeling that I'm doing a lot of things and putting posters up and talking to everybody and paddling like crazy, and nothing seemed to come back. So I definitely remember that. And really the difference between those who manage to turn their idea into a flourishing business and those who don't is really uh, when it feels like you're pushing the boulder up the hill and you're paddling like crazy and nothing happens or there seems to be no return on investment of time and energy um, what are you what are you gonna do about that are you gonna give up or are you gonna continue and um, because I think often we have that idea and I think it's probably not helped by the media either there's this constant idea of of overnight successes and people who come out of nowhere and within record time they have million dollar businesses so I think that tends to shape the kind of expectations we consciously or unconsciously set ourselves which isn't exactly helpful and um, I'm just like underneath here I've got the PC with an article uh, on Forbes.com about overnight success and um, there is this one paragraph and it says what most people call overnight success is actually the market suddenly realizing the value of a great product or service that had been kept in obscurity for too long while its creators refused to give up and that really sums it up quite nicely now i'm not saying you should blindly keep doing something that's that's not working so I'm not suggesting you keep banging your head against the wall and just keep doing it because you know there's on the other hand is if you keep doing the same thing and expect different results I think that's what Einstein called insanity or something so you do want to look at what you're doing and 
and adjust and try different things and not I mean not blindly just you know like uh, if you start offering um, I don't know flamenco dresses to Eskimos and you know you start offering them and they're not really selling all that well and so I'm not suggesting you just keep offering them you know so you might want to adjust your offering to something that your Eskimos actually value so um you know you do want to experiment and try different things and so if this isn't kind of you know giving any results or you don't get any engagement or people don't react to this at all try offering the same thing to different people or try offering different things to those people so you do want to be flexible and try things out and experiment but um so yeah i'm not saying you shouldn't look at what you're doing but i am saying that uh giving up shouldn't be an option you know and it doesn't mean that you never feel like giving up well i certainly have had my times where where i looked at, at job offers and they kind of brought me back to reality really quickly and um so if you have the sort of unfortunate situation that you have easy alternatives then maybe it's harder to to stick to it but um so i'm not saying that that doesn't that there won't be situations when you feel like like giving up or you feel like this is just not working or whatever but um you can really look in the history of pretty much every successful company and you'll find that they've been trying and and experimenting and failing and frustration and hard work for much much longer than uh, we think it should take and usually the sense of disappointment or the sense of restlessness or the sense of no I'm not going anywhere it tends to the problem doesn't tend to be the actual results you're seeing the problem tends to be the expectation of how long that should take or how much work this should cost so it's usually the first thing to look at I suggest is your expectations rather than you know the actual result uh, so yeah and and the other thing I want to want to point out is you don't need that business to be successful you're whole and perfect and okay no matter what comes out no matter whether that's going to work out or it doesn't you'll be okay anyway this business can't give you anything that you don't already have so you and once you see that is it'll, it'll free you up from the pressure and you can just Take it as an experiment, take it as a, as a game even, an adventure, a learning experience. And, and when you come from that place, that you don't need a particular outcome for you to be okay, then you're less stressed, you're more creative, you have better ideas. And there's a good chance that when you come from that place, your chances of success multiply. And, and you have a whole lot more fun in the process. So step off the gas, uh, enjoy, enjoy the journey. And I would really love to hear from any of you who's been around for a while, you know, how long did it really take you from, you know, all the initial enthusiasm, let's make a living from sewing to actually paying the bills with that. I remember for me, it took about two years you know, I think sometimes it's it, it can, you know, take a while to get even the first order. Sometimes the first few orders come in really quickly and then you get all excited and then you start doubting when it sort of dries up after that. So, yeah, all I'm saying is chances are until you have a consistent flow of orders and never have to doubt again whether there will be orders next month that usually takes longer than you may think and that's perfectly okay and there's nothing wrong with that and there's nothing wrong with you so glad have fun and i'll talk to you soon again bye